guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Half Price Books Comic Haul Video. This is episode number 70, 76. Yes, it is. Wait until I reach 100, I'll be doing a special giveaway. So, this since we are at the subject of comic books, have you guys seen the um, new Netflix show, Iron Fist? It started out pretty good. It didn't get really good reviews. I think it got very low, like single or double like 16% from Brian Tomei that's totally ridiculous not that bad it started out pretty good but then it's kind of getting a little bit ridiculous because Iron Fist he's supposed to be the master of Kung Fu you know but you'll find out as you watch the show he gets hit pretty easily how can he beat the hand all by himself if he just gets into fights where he's not dominating like he should be you know Make sure you check that out. All right, so this is, as you can see, two huge bags of comic kind of books from Half Price Books. Let's see how much I pay for this deal. There are 88, uh, 89 items, and I paid about $42 of the tax right here. All right, and let me tell you, there are quite a few gems. One in particular that has been eluding me for quite a number of years, and I'm very happy to get it. I feel so lucky. So let's take a sneak peek at what I went through, sorted through at Half Price Books. I hope you guys ready because you are about to be in for a treat. We have Justice League America Classified number one. I believe this is like a new series back in the 2005 early 2000s where they just decided DC decided to hit up with more Justice League comics. I don't think it did that well by the way. As you can see, nice art. I might try to elaborate a little bit, but I don't want to do too much because this is a huge haul. I don't want it to be ending up to be too long video. And here is Justice League America, I guess, a variant cover. Where is the Justice League? Just classified. All right. And I think somebody just decided to dump quite a few of the comics because there are quite a few, even in clearance section, gems. Warlock number one. Um, I think this is the new, well, the newer series back then. It came out, the Warlock. It's not the one that I come to know. I guess it changed the costume or something. And of course, whenever I see Amazing Spider-Man, I gotta grab that. And my 543. Uh, in case you don't know about the story, you know, somebody that he knows dearly has passed away. It's gonna be have a new turn with the new Spider-Man's volume, I believe. And here we have Spider-Man Deadpool. I think this is my very first copy of the series. Number 10 for 25 cents. You know it's a... It's no brand, you gotta grab it. And we have a Marvel 100th Anniversary Spider-Man number one. Check out that awesome Venom cover. Is that Kingpin in the back? I can't wait to read that. All right, and we have one of these graphic novels, Superman, Batman World's Finest number one, Worlds Apart. And as we all know, these graphic novels can be pretty expensive, 395 that you see right there. And Superman Action Comics, New 52, number 25. I love that art. I guess it's Aaron Kuda art. Kind of reminds me a little bit of John Wayne Jr. By the way, I'm, I'm gonna make a. I'm planning on making a new video on how to um, um, take off price stickers because sometimes it leaves residue. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove that. So stay tuned for that video. And Superman vs Dracula number 180. I think that's going for a nice price on eBay because of the uh, Superman vs Dracula ordeal. I guess to try and make it big. Superman Legends of the DC Universe number one. There you see Superman trying to grab a speeding bullet. I like that painting art. Pretty spectacular. Superman Beyond number zero. All right. And next we get to Trinity number one with Superman on the cover. Mark Bagley art. Um, they had quite a few Trinity. I think like one through like 50 something. I wasn't crazy enough to grab it all. If we have Armageddon 2001, Detective Comics, you know the Batman story is really good. So that's why I bought it. It's gonna be a good read. 
and potential wardrobe number 50 check out that special embossed cover by the way i did the art of this uh using uh mylar i think i'll show you guys that next time messiah complex chapter 7 x factor the reason i got this is for some reason the cover stood out to me that's why i grabbed it they even have a second print this is the variant cover 26 cable with a baby i don't know who the baby is but and check this out it is hit girl from uh kick ass she's debuting in her own comic oh it's second printing variant i just noticed that and i don't know why they even decided to mark this down obviously i'm very lucky to get that because this is going for a pretty nice price at 12 15 dollars this is captain marvel and I think I would use this to show you guys how to remove the price sticker, just to show you guys it would it would be like undetectable after removing it. Tom and Jerry Adventure Comics number one for the collectability, and we have Guy Gardner number one, just because uh, he might get his new movie. Who knows when? Captain Marvel number two. All right, that's going for good price too. We have Day of Judgment number one of five. If you look on the corner left corner is autographed by i believe that's a jeff johns that looks like a jeff johns drawing uh, i mean um autograph and same with this one number two of five autograph by jeff johns and even the number three too bad i don't have the whole series and we get to wolfering the end number one um it's not related to the story this is something else not about old man uh, old man Logan. I am Legion number one. Well, I think it's well actually I don't know a number. That's one of these graphic novels, alright? We got Doctor Strange Classics. I don't know what's that's doing in the clearance bin. Dollar fifty, I think if they charge a regular there was somebody would have bought it. Captain Adam number fifty bought it for the uh, special double size issue. Not really a huge fan of Captain Adam, but this is like a nineteen ninety one comic. We got Ambush Bug stocking stuff for number one. Ambush Bug is one of these weird heroes that DC uh, came out with. Sound like a spoof comic, I guess. You got Doctor Fate to return Doctor Fate. Look at this man. This is I'm pretty sure this is like a late 80s or early 90s one. And graphic novel, of course, with Punisher and Captain America cover. You, it's a gimme. Blood and Glory, all right. Book three of three, and I even grabbed doubles. So I'll give this one away. Punisher War Journal. I admire that special cover. And Deathstroke number one, baby. Yes. What's this doing in the clearance section? Can't wait until he gets his own series or guest pairing in a new movie. Special embossed cover Punisher continue on in Captain America Blood and Glory. All right, book one. And we got Punisher Point of View, number one of four. I like that cover art right, right there. It's pretty violent. And None Shall Live. You got Young Justice with Robin, Superboy, Impulse. Who the heck is Impulse? All right. You got the Punisher G Force. So don't laugh at these clearance items because some of these you will find good deals. Like, like I found Amazing Spider-Man 361 one time. You guys recall the very first appearance of Carnage. That's ridiculous. Black Widow number one, Ambush Bug number one. You got Captain America: Sentinel Liberty collector's item issue number one. And why is Marvel even doing the clearance bin number four? So I guess they were just clearing out a whole bunch of comics. Um, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number one. There you see three different versions of Spider-Man. Well, actually, it's two, two girls and one, one uh, regular Spider-Man, I guess, number one. Batman Adventures number 22. Yes, we got two faces in the back. All right. We got Daredevil with um, um, Smith, Kevin Smith, Joe Quesada art. Number five. We got Space Ghost number one. I think this one is special. Fair first appearance of... Oh, man, I forgot who it is. I have to... Just, Google that. And I grabbed two of them too. Maybe I'll give one away. Yeah, you guys do that. Google that. Space Ghost is first appearance. Oh, I'm gonna say Ghost Rider, but it's not. Adults only, slow death. Number six. Superboy plus the power of Sajam, number one. Looks like they're both a uh, teenager version. You got Transformers, number one. IDW, alright. Let's get on. And this one, I simply grabbed it because of that ridiculous Joker cover, you know? He's taking over the Superman jersey. And it, you know Hawkeye is hot with Matt Fraction um, storyline. This is number seven, second printing. Number two, second printing variant. You got number five. 
And number four, very, very weird, simple covers. Not a big fan of that. Super Friends, this is old one. Look at this, 10 cents, can you see that? Number 34, quite old comic. I believe it is like 70s, I am pretty, I'm guessing. It is 1980. Here's a Tiny Terror Gone Color Special Spectacular. Let's just take a quick sneak peek at what, what this one is about. Look at this. Wait, there's no, there are no words in here. Pretty weird. Kind of reminds me of... Ah, um, oh, I forgot. What's a Jurassic Park? Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble number one. And here's a good one to have. Hawkman number one. And I don't have to remove prize stickers in the bag. Just trying to get rid of the guard. Another guy guard number one. We have uh, Sizzle number one. I think something that stood out that told me to grab this. Sometimes you go, you have to go with the six cents, you know, it's five cents. We got Wolfrain Duke number one. All right, Duke is one of these weird alien characters. And let me do a little bit of sorting right here. Another one of these Hawk Man number nine. Uh, number eight. All right, not really a big fan of the Hawk Man, by the way. Number seven. And this one, Superman presents Krypton Chronicles. This is issue number three. That's him, Supergirl, the first of the L family at his wedding 10,000 years ago. The story of the man who steals a million ancestors. Superman for Earth. Let's go ahead and take a sneak peek at what this one is about. It's not an Earth's World one. Nice. Nice indeed. Amazing Spider-Man number 501. Saturday in the Park of May. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, baby. This must be a special variant cover. Yes, yes, yes. Continuing on, I like this cover right here. Main Spider-Man 679.1. Spider-Man, Dr. Octopus Negative, Exposure, number one of five. And we got Superior Superman Series Finale. $5.99 cover price, and I only paid 25 cents. And here is a nice cover right here. Black Cat, I, I love this cover right here. I think this is one of my favorite covers that I went did in one of my videos. Superior Spider-Man number 30. Spider-Man Spectacular number one with with Green Goblin. Check out that art. Who is this artist? It's pretty is it Coblish? Wow. An up and coming artist. And here we go, the good stuff. Kabam! The Walking Dead first image first number one. Even though it's not the first print or the regular print, I am just happy to grab have number one in my collection now, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Millennium Detective Dust. So these are the regular price. I paid uh, half a 75 cents to Detective Comics Millennium. Now uh, we have uh, Superman, Batman number one. I have the Batman uh, cover version. I believe two copies of that. And look at this, man. For those of you comic heads, look at this. It's a Dark Horse DC combo um, team up. You got Joker and Mass. If you check on eBay, it's quite valuable indeed. I like the art. I don't know the story yet. And three or four. All right, we got Poison Ivy in the, on the cover. And check this out, Suicide Squad number 15. Of course, we got Joker and Harley Quinn hooking it up, you know, the new 52. And we have Green Arrow, sold out. Rebirth number one, this is the first printing. The second printing is uh, has a red, reddish color by it. And I got the variant cover, all right, Green Arrow. And check this out, Death of the Family, Red Hood Outlaws number 15. It's a special mask cover. We got the Deadpool, the musical 49.1. It's got it because Deadpool is crazy. Continuing on. We got, hold on a second, my comic is about to fall. Terminator number one. Um, I want to say this is the very first appearance of Terminator. But I have to confirm that it was the Terminator that we come to know. Not just, you know, something that now comics decided to, to uh, write up. But I believe this is the very first Terminator in the comic book by now. We got Batman number 702 with Grant O. Morrison, Tony Daniel series. And Deadpool number one, yes, baby. Even though it's a dark printing variant, uh, it's Deadpool number one. You can't go wrong with Deadpool. And check this out. And I just found out that Outcast is in a, a TV series now. Uh, I think it came out last year or 2015. This is the special Cinemax version. Uh, issue number one Darkness Surrounds Him, Outcast. And I believe this one is uh, going for like 10 bucks on eBay. Here comes the two last, 
the best. Red Hulk number one. It's my second copy. This is the very first appearance of Red Hulk. Thunderbolt Ross. Um, I just couldn't believe that was sitting in the regular price comic section, you know? And this is better condition than the one I got from my Craigslist haul. And finally, last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man number 36. This is the um, the direct version. What's so special about this cover other than the black cover? Actually, this is a 9-11, if you guys remember, you know, the terror attacks um, that happened, unfortunately, September 11, 2001. So Marvel decided to come out this comic to pay tribute. So let's hold a moment of silence, five seconds, for all those heroes, innocents that we lost back then. May you guys rest in peace. Amen. Very lucky to have that. I've always wanted this. Actually, when I first saw it, I didn't realize what it was significance of it. But because it was Amazing Spider-Man and it's a black cover, I decided to keep it in a stack that I wanted to buy. And as I used my smartphone to do some more research, and certainly enough, that is a 9-11 cover. I'm very happy to get that. That's why you guys need to bring a smartphone to do research. That's what's great about it. So hope you guys enjoy this fabulous comic book haul video. I felt I felt so lucky. Until next time, take care of yourselves and happy collecting, alright?